Right, today I have got me the Honor 9X Pro. And you can see there's a lot to love about this phone, as it says right there. Um, so it's got a really fast processor, Kirin 810, which is an octa-core processor. It's got a pop-up little selfie camera, which is great. It's got a really nice, especially in this purple one that I've got here, it's got a really nice rear end uh, with a glass curve, as you can see here, dual 3D. And that looks really, really nice. I must admit, phantom purple, they call it. Um, also, we've got a 48 megapixel ultra clear triple camera, as you can see there. We've got a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, uh, which, you know, would deliver the all day uh, usage. And we've got a 3.5 millimeter audio port, as well as GPS, uh, Bluetooth, and look, six gig of RAM, 256 gig of storage. And you can add to that with a micro SD card if you want. It's got a liquid cooling system. It's just brilliant. And the, around the back, it's got 48 megapixel camera, um, that triple ultra clear camera arrangement, which I can't show you too much of in here, but it looks like that. And um, you've got a 48 megapixel camera and an eight megapixel wide angle and a two megapixel depth assistant camera, uh, depth assist and a 16 megapixel pop-up camera now why am i going on about this now this is one of the new phones um that honor and huawei are releasing that doesn't have the google apps now long story short uh, america and donald trump have decided that huawei are a security risk and they basically put them on a list of companies that are not allowed to work with american companies so basically it means that new brand new phones coming out now that have just been released from huawei and from honor because it's the same company honor is basically huawei and you'll see it all over here in the apps um basically they're not allowed to use any of the google apps so there's no youtube there's no google mail there's no um uh, calendar or play store the play store is a big killer now let me just show you what i've done to try and get as close as i can to the google experience so here you can see on the top, I've got four additional icons. Now, um, these aren't really icons. These are more uh, like shortcuts. So YouTube isn't an app on here that you can install. And we've got the app gallery here. And when you try and put in YouTube, um, you'll see that there is no YouTube application on there. So we've got, instead, I've created a shortcut to the mobile version of the YouTube sites as you can see there so it's not fully featured although you can still upload videos and indeed this video i'm recording now will be um, uploaded via this web version of the site um, very soon indeed so that's youtube and you can play videos and you can mess around with the speed and that's the quality so i can go in here and i can you know check the speed and the quality and all that stuff and the um that just as you would for a normal youtube inbuilt app now there is people that say well we can have um side loaded apks now what is an apk now an apk is like an android installer so basically it means you can install apps but you do end up in a bit of a gray world so an example if i look for the gmail apk we end up in various websites i mean the top few are probably okay but then you end up going down into a world which is um, slightly different you know you've got um, apk.support and you've got um, let's have a look uh, litmus.com uh, so basically you end up with uh, apps that may or may not have been checked out thoroughly and they don't update obviously once you've installed the apk if you get it working they won't update now gmail won't sideload because it needs the google um, the google services and unfortunately, the Google services, you can't sideload those either. Even if you do sideload them and get them working, it just won't load Gmail properly because it says this device is not capable of running the Google services. And it basically blocks it from the Google um, back end. But anyway, you can get to Gmail, as you can see here, through a shortcut, another shortcut. And this is basically what I keep doing. I go to the web version of the app that I want, and then I go add to home screen you can see from the menu there this by the way is the huawei browser and you'll see huawei mentioned quite a lot through this on a device so this is the huawei browser you can actually sideload chrome 
again I've just got this off the internet and I've side loaded Chrome so that does work and you can side load Gboard or Google Keyboard whatever you want to call it so this is what I've got here because out of the box you get Huawei browser with uh, Microsoft Bing as the default browser you can switch that quite easily and you also get um, the Microsoft swipe key keyboard so I mean it's, both are okay like I can type really well on here and um, swipe around and obviously this works the Google keyboard the Gboard works very well indeed so what I've done there basically I've created shortcuts the Google Maps application um, isn't going to work I've tried it several times through the web version so if I go to Google Maps on here I know that I can see the satellites right now but for some odd reason which I still can't work out it does not ever find my location even though the location is actually on and working it just never ever loads it and that's in either Huawei browser or Google Chrome so you can't use the web version and it's a bit unfortunate if somebody sends you a link and says here here's the Google Maps directions to my house you can't click on it because it just doesn't find out where you are so you can't follow that trail of directions bit of a pain in the backside really you can of course still you know so zoom in and you can look at various areas and you can you know use all that street view stuff and all that business now there is um, a new app which has come out called here we go which um, is something Nokia worked on a while ago it's a very good uh, mapping and direction and traffic uh, application I won't fire it up now because it'll get my location it works perfectly well but you'll see where I live and etc etc but it will help you um, get to uh, from A to B so that is as googly as I can make it now with Gmail obviously it's not going to notify you if I get a Gmail an email rather in here because this is just the website and it's not going to push a notification through it doesn't seem to push it anyway um, properly so what I've done is I've just hooked in my Gmail account to the inbuilt onboard uh, emails application which works very well and that's um, that's a very good application you know you're just missing a few bits and bobs but you get the slide thing here you can delete emails and stuff like that it works very well indeed you know it's a, a nice email app so if you're just trying to get a phone and this is 249.99 really cheap I forgot to mention the price really dirt cheap this phone for what it is what it can do there you go there's an email just come in um it's very good the camera's brilliant you can see some of the photos I've taken on here uh, in and you can see here we've got Instagram running um, but let's have a look at some of the photos I've taken the photos look really good and the um, the video the smoothness um, is fantastic on the video I'll show you that in a separate uh, separate shot but it's it's fantastic phone but if you do want those very familiar apps I'll show you what happens in the next video